Konnichiwa everyone, this is Nadoka from Artec the Mommy Scientist and today I would like to show you one of our new products called the EM Cube. Now EM stands for electromagnet and cube because the product itself comes in a cube shape. This product would help you easily understand the principle of electricity so by the time you've finished doing all nine fun experiments in the kit, I'm sure you'll become an expert on electricity. So let's see what's in the box. In the box, we have a battery box, a motor case, a battery cover, a rail, a switch base, a coil motor case, a switch lever, a vinyl remover, six plugs, one upper half of the ball, one lower half of the ball, fishing rod, a compass base, a knob, two axis holders, one vinyl conducting wire, rubber band, an armature case, a shooting port, an armature cover, a plastic core, a rotating table for top, a top, a bobbin, a 200 turn coil, an enameled wire holder, 10 nails, a sandpaper, a compass needle, two iron cores, two axes, and two magnets. From home or school, you would need two 1.5 volt batteries, a scissors, and tape. Okay, so I've already done a few assembling and wiring. So I have connected the 100, 100 turn coil to the enameled wire holder and these two to the switch and to the main battery box. And so I am going to follow the instructions and do the experiment. Insert the iron core into the 100 turn coil, turn on the switch and make the current flow and move it towards the nails. Now repeat the same experiment, but this time with the plastic core. Compare the results of the metal core and the plastic core. How many nails did you get? First, assemble the compass and correct its polarity. Insert the iron core into the 100 turn coil. Turn the switch on and move the compass towards the iron core, which is carrying an electric current. Now check whether the electromagnet has an S pole and an N pole or not. Connect the 100 and 200 turn coils in series and check the number of nails attached to each iron core. Which coil attached the most nails? First, assemble the motor and make it move. Using the rotation of a motor, you can operate electrical appliances or rotate the wheels of a car. Let's think of other electronic devices that could contain motors. Now the fun stuff! Cut out the fortune telling sheet. Use the motor to spin the top and let the top show you your future. Assemble the shooter and shoot the ball. <laughs> Assemble the fishing rod and have fun fishing. 
Thank you for watching and be sure to like the video and leave a comment below. See you in our next video. Bye!